And from Bangkok, let's head on over to Cambodia, where the uh, Premier uh, Han Sen has warned that the, because of the uh, spiraling COVID crisis there, uh, the country may be in the brink of death. Crystal Ann Balesteros joins us live. Hello, Crystal. Hi, Alma. That is correct. Cambodia has seen COVID-19 cases surge since February, when an outbreak was first detected among its Chinese expatriate community. Authorities said last week that hospitals in Phnom Penh were running out of beds and that they had transformed schools and wedding party halls into treatment centers, while Hun Sen threatened quarantine breakers with jail time. Phnom Penh and adjacent city Takmau where Wednesday night placed under lockdown for two weeks to curb the spread, effectively halting the movement of not of more than two million people. Cambodia's latest announced figures exceeded 4,800, but the Prime Minister said Wednesday that an additional 300 cases had been detected. Phnom Penh and Takmau residents are now barred from leaving their homes for two weeks, except to go to the hospital or to buy medicine, while only two household members will be allowed, to, will be allowed out to buy food. On Thursday morning, police blocked motorists from passing a checkpoint set up at the border between the two cities, with residents showing their ID cards hoping to pass through. Blockades were also erected around the major Nurudom Boulevard, around the iconic Independence Monument to prevent people from traveling. So for now, people are allowed to leave their homes for health reasons or emergency situations, but must comply with safety measures, especially wearing a mask and maintaining distance. Back to you, Alma. Thank you very much, Crystal, for your updates. And we look forward to more updates coming out of Cambodia. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. Safe weekend. Likewise, Alma. Reporting live here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, I am Crystal Ann Balesteros, and we always live in interesting times.